The expansion of the regulatory state. Many eyes turned hopefully, or desperately, to free market think tanks for help. The Competitive Enterprise Institute became a great leader of the movement, and so idealistic men and women traveled from all over America to CEI in Washington, D.C., where they would work, and work, and think, and drink. Well, when was the SEC supposed to respond? So long ago, I don't remember. What about the next FOIA deadline? Deadlines? Agencies never meet their deadlines. <laughs> There's a lot to learn here at CEI. So tomorrow morning, I'll give you interns the Liberty Lecture. Yes, sir. We'll be there at 8. <laughs> well, I'll be there at 10. <laughs> All right, so then the senator said, you despise me, don't you? And I said, if I gave you any thought, I probably would. <laughs> Rick, help me. We got some Silicon Valley bigwig here. We need you now. Sir, this is one of our policy fellows, Rick Blaine. Rick, this is... Victor Laszlo. One hears a great deal about Rick in D.C. And about Victor Laszlo everywhere. Let me introduce you to my colleague, Ilsa. Hello, Richard. Hello, Ilsa. Let's see, the last time we met... Was when you testified about the Paris Agreements. How nice you remember. I remember every detail. The committee wore suits, and you wore your Enjoy Capitalism pin. Yes, I've put that pin away now. I forgot you used to work at CEI. She was one of our best analysts. A great advocate for liberty. Well, your loss is the private sector's gain. Victor, there's someone new here we both need to meet. Of all the think tanks in all the towns in all the world, she had to come back to CEI. Play it again, Sam. You know that's not the line, right? And what do you mean again? Just I have play it. Moonlight and love songs never out of date. Hearts full of passion. Jealousy and hate Woman needs man And man must have his mate That no one can deny It's still the same old story A fight for love and glory A case of do or die The world will always welcome as time goes by. Good morning. We just stopped by on the way to the airport. Ilsa forgot her hat. By the way, I saw you on CNBC this morning. I congratulate you on putting Krugman in his place. Oh, well, I congratulate you. Why? Your work? People in this town talk about making the world a better place. But the ideas you develop, the products you make, the people you employ, that's the only way it'll make people better off. I try. We all try. You succeed. Ilsa has been an extraordinary help. We couldn't do it without her. Anyway, I should go call her Uber. I'll meet you downstairs. Richard, last night I realized I miss working here at CEI. I miss fighting for liberty. I miss working with principal libertarians. I think I should stay here with you at CEI. You're getting in that Uber with Victor where you belong. No, Richard, no. Listen. Do you have any idea what you'd have to look forward to if you stayed? The frustration? The disappointment? Nine chances out of ten you'd wind up audited by the IRS or subpoenaed by some power-hungry attorney general. You're saying that only to make me go. I'm saying it because it's true. The work we do at CEI is important, but we both know you belong in the private sector. That's your world now, the world that actually innovates and creates. If you're not in that Uber when it pulls away from the curb, you'll regret it. Maybe not today, and maybe not tomorrow, but soon, and for the rest of your life. But what about Liberty? It'll always have CEI. Now, now, here's looking at you, kid.
Well, we may have lost Ilsa, but at least we managed to steal you from the private sector. You did, and I think this will be the beginning of a beautiful friendship.